Let's look at how the velocity of the ping pong ball is changed depending on how far it is falling. So let's take this ping pong ball. We're going to start by dropping it from a height of 5 meters. And we're going to be doing this in a place where there is indeed an atmosphere. So watch this little red arrow and how it increases over time as this object accelerates. So if we drop this from 5 meters per second, you can see the velocity increased up to 7.32 meters per second, and it took a time of 1.13 seconds to fall. If we drop this from a height of 10 meters, there you can see the, vo the velocity increased to 8.25 meters per second, so it got a bit faster, and it took 1.77 seconds to fall. If this falls a distance of 15 meters, you can see that the velocity increased up to 8.46 meters per second, and it took 2.36 seconds to fall. If we drop this from 20 meters in height, you can see that the velocity increased to 8.53 meters per second, and it took 2.95 seconds to fall. So here you can see the graph so far. In that first second, it's speeding up by a lot more than it is in the second second, and barely speeding up at all in the third second. So now let's drop this from a height of 25 meters. So if this drops from 25 meters, you can see that the velocity increased to 8.55 meters per second. That's barely any faster than last time, and it took 3.53 seconds to fall. So you can see it's almost leveling out here on the graph. The velocity isn't changing as much. If we drop this from 30 meters in height, keep an eye on what's going on with this speedometer. Notice what the arrow is doing. So it increases up to 8.55, and then it just kind of stayed there. So we stayed at 8.55 meters per second for that last bit of the fall. Let's drop this from 35 meters in height. Again, it speeds up to 8.55 meters per second, and then it just sort of stays there. This arrow isn't increasing past this point right here. And you can see that on the graph, where even though time is continuing to pass and the ball is continuing to fall, its velocity is no longer increasing. So its speed is sort of becoming constant. And then finally, from 40 meters in height, exact same thing. It speeds up to 8.55 meters per second, and then it just stays there. So the time is continuing to increase, but the velocity isn't. It's like there's a limit on how fast this object is going to end up going. There's uh, what we might call a terminal velocity for this ping pong ball.